Hi, welcome to Blazing New Trails, and we're excited today because we are actually blazing a new trail to a purified water system. Yes. I mean, this is like a big system. This isn't just the little thing that you get from Camco. And you know how water can be when you're on the road traveling. Oh my gosh. And it's one thing to have one of those units at the water spigot at the campground, but it's another thing to actually have something that is very robust and has several different filters in it and will take all of those impurities out of it. You don't have to worry about the water anymore. So we're excited to show you how that's being done and our son-in-law Davey is going to do that. I'm not very qualified in this area. Well he's the water expert. He is. Then you better call Harry Colligan Man. He can make just about any kind of problem water problem free he's yeah. worked at lots of places with water that's the purification is his life so he's stepped up to do that for us so we're excited to have you with us and show you how that's going to be done and you're gonna be so jealous <laughs> okay this is a family affair now <laughs> Wendy, you want to introduce this is my youngest wendy this is her partner davy and the resident expert <laughs> and we're excited to have them with us. Wendy will be overseeing the quality, con quality control of this whole installation, so, so we're glad to have her here to, the supervisor. to make that, that final inspection. So stick with us, and Davey will lead the installation, and we'll show you the final product. RO, reverse osmosis, or RO, as they say, um, has been around for decades. Uh, it's a really, really effective way to clean any kind of water and make it ultra pure. So essentially, the steps it goes to filtrate your water, um, this stage is a sedimentary step, which is just like what you had there, Gary, uh, and it will take any particles in the water, any sludge or um, rocks, um, and trap it in here. And then it'll go into this carbon block, which takes out any chlorine or fluoride uh, that you don't want in your drinking water. Uh, and then the heart of the system here is your reverse osmosis. And this is when it goes from your very um, turbid water to ultra pure. It's like your water tower and storage device. So this is a pressurized bladder tank. Did you tell me that holds a gallon? This will hold you three gallons. Three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So typically a person will drink like, what do you, how much do you drink in your race? Not enough. Or oh, race day. Not <laughs> enough. That's good. <laughs> but like a gallon? I, I would say so. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. So I got you the R, the reverse osmosis. It, we'll see it here in a second, how quickly it produces the pure water, but it's a trickle. But over 24 hours, it'll, it can produce uh, 50 gallons a day if you just left it running. But with this, it'll store three gallons at a time. As soon as you start pouring your cup of water, it starts filling itself okay. back up. We have a Grand Design Reflection 337, and it has this nice big island. And it has an extra cabinet over there by Gary, right down there. Well, that was for trash cans and it never stayed on so we'd pull it out and it would come well, off the slide, of the guy yeah the slides broke so we are going to have Davey put this system in that cabinet so what did you do Davey well I used a shark bite tea fitting um, and I am teed from your pecs half inch pecs and then I will come off of this T with a 3 8 inch compression and this will then supply drinking this will then supply the water that will be filtered through the uh, water treatment system so the water storage is going to go into the cabinet right next to the sink and we're plotting out where to drill a hole for this this blue line here and Drilling the hole, you can hear in the background. Where, where do we have it? It's behind your drawer. 
there it is. Hey, that's awesome. Well, if don't we if we that. strap it in on this side, mm -hmm. don't I want maybe want the filters yep. over here? Yep. So it's, so you want it strapped in on that side and not on that side. Well, it doesn't matter to me. But. Yeah, let's let's keep it in this corner. Sure. Okay. And then I think there's enough space over here mm -hmm. for the canisters. You got it it's straight up and down, straight across here. You can line it up with that and you got it plumb. So you're saying that this is probably one of the easier installs that you've done. Oh yeah. It's almost like it was designed for this. Install the filters, sediment first, then your carbon block, and then your RO. So there is a specific order. That's right. You want to remove the biggest particles first uh -huh. and work your way down. Just push it up and twist. Locked in. And there's the date. And we got to our date. Yep. But like you said earlier, twist. That's a year. Those two are a year out, yep. and it's probably a good idea to change them out sooner. Yeah. So now you're putting that through the hole. Yeah. So I got another. Yes, yeah, so if you see down in there, your RV cold water line is coming into the unit here with this quarter inch line, and it comes through everything and then out pure water through the back in this line here it's going to go into your storage vessel and then that bladder tank is going to push it up and out to your faucet okay which we will angle over here okay which will send back through you put the piece of tubing through, and then it gets hooked into the uh, the bladder here. Mm -hmm. So simultaneously, when this thing's running, water, pure water is going to be going into the tank and also to the faucet. Okay. So when you close your faucet, the water is going to fill your tank. But because we pressurized this ahead of time. The water's gonna have more of an affinity out your faucet. Right. <clears throat> Secondary into the tank. Make sense? How how long how long are these tanks good for? Um I've s i have mean I've seen them in the field over twenty years old. So the reject you're just pointing out to me is this black tube. Yeah. So water comes in goes out the center and the rejected water then flows through this tube and will send it out to your sink drain. The RO has an affinity to reject water. Um, only pure water can go through. So water would rather take the path of least resistance. Always, yeah. Always, right? So it's going to want to go out the drain. There's no resistance there. So what we install here is a very tiny flow control. And this is absolutely necessary for your RO to function. This caliper valve here. And so this restricts the flow out your so, concentrate line. Huh. Yep. So right here, that's just your stack. Um, when you route your concentrate line, it needs to be above your P-trap, right here. Huh, that is important. Yeah. Why, so, why is that? Um, I don't really know, but a lot of plumbing codes will say it has to be that way. Okay. Huh, okay. But otherwise you get, I guess, your sewer fumes uh -huh. up through your um, concentrate line. Uh -huh. um, that would never happen because I'm installing a check valve as well. But uh, who knows about the fumes, but we'll just follow the code. 
So if you're talking to somebody about doing this, what are some of the, when I say somebody, if you're talking to a company yeah. about doing the installation and you're mm -hmm. making your initial calls, what what kinds of questions should you be asking them? Uh, if you're shopping around different companies, um, you can ask them if they've ever done any RV installations. Uh, ask them if they're charged by the job or hourly. And honestly, if they've never done any RV installations, I would just go for a different company. Because <laughs> there's plenty out there that do. What do we got now? Alright, so... Now this is going to go to your faucet. We're going to never get that poked through. Uh, but yeah, so here's your on-off to the water. This is your main to your faucet on-off valve. So that you don't really have to worry about that if you want to just turn off and on your drinking water um, this is gonna go right through okay so this is gonna be your main drinking water um, I color-coded all of your pure water for drinking okay. in blue okay good all of your other water is gonna black. be black like yeah. your drain line yep okay yep. didn't have to do it <laughs> well that's just the mark of a <laughs> outstanding technician There's no turning back <laughs> the thing that I didn't understand is that we're going to have a separate little faucet just for drinking water and for cooking. Um, that's what will be filtered. Just the water that we use to do the dishes and stuff that won't be filtered. There we are. But this is not that. And this cuts well. This plays nice. Did you ever install any quartz? No. <laughs> no, not much quartz in hospitals and industries. <laughs> All right, so on the bottom of this, you have your 3 8 inch hole yeah. here, receiver, and that's going to be your drinking water. These other two are for an air gap that's required in the state of California. We're using a check valve to prevent any backflow. Right. So that's perfectly fine for where we're at. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. There it is. And we'll get this in the right color at a different day. This is your final um, carbon, granulated activated carbon, GAC. It is granulated coconut shell carbon so this event if does that ever get replaced yeah so this will be every year as well so you'll get a pack um, like a service pack you can just buy and it'll have everything you need to do re to replace annually um, and we'll write the change date on this as well but it's pretty easy to remember when you just replace all of them all of them yeah they're all awesome. so this is going to take the aesthetic uh, make it taste any kind of funky taste there is if it happens to get by it's your safety net um, after your RO. You have the option here I didn't say this before but they make another filter so RO water is really pure and like we said before you need electrolytes yeah in your water um, RO water is very pure and there is an extra filter you can add called uh, like a pH boost mm -hmm. or a mineral boost where you can get those uh, electrolytes put back into your water oh. but you know what it's like it'll make the water crispier I guess so it goes in this house yeah so here. this is just a blank a bypass blank yeah. so every time you turn it you've stopped flow so you got to have this blank in there to have the flow go again yep. Gary, you mind holding that? Yeah, have to. So does that filter screw in somewhere? What? Does that filter screw in somewhere? Which Down one? Down below the one that's on this blue tube. Oh, no, it's just connected. It's connected to your product line. Okay. So in the RO, we call uh, concentrate and product. So your concentrate is your rejection water. 
and then the product <clears throat> is the uh, the water that was permeated through the membrane. Okay. Put that on backwards for you, didn't I? Here it is. Got that fancy schmancy, and you've already done it and checked no. it doesn't have any no. leaks or anything. I mean, it's it's open. If it's gonna leak, it's gonna leak now. It didn't go. Oh, there's the other valve. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Come on, you're supposed to be the expert. Yeah. Okay, you're seizing. Here we go. Yay! Voila. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. So, the thing on the top. so yeah. So the, this there's one final filter that's carbon, co coconut shell granulated carbon, and when you first start up, it may uh, after letting it sit for a while, uh -huh. it may come out dark. Okay. Because it's carbon dust. Ah. Once you run it for maybe 10, 15 seconds, it'll be clean. Okay. Clear. Well, there you have it. How's it taste, Linda? Clean. Let me try it out. No aftertaste. Wendy thought at first it tasted a little um, chlorine, like chlorine a little bit, but <clears throat> I don't taste that at all. Tastes fine to me. But yeah, it'll get a road test here coming up right away. Yeah, but you know the nice thing is just to know that your water is always clean and you don't have to worry about it. Water at these different campgrounds is just it's unpredictable and. Better safe than sorry. And you know what? I don't have to buy gallons of water anymore. We go places and I was buying like four gallons of water just to make sure we had clean, yeah. pure water. Yeah. We don't have to do that anymore. That's exciting. It is so awesome. We are happy. We're going to really test it out starting next week when we go to the Grand Design National Rally. So and then a fall we'll trip. let you know if there's, you know, anything happens that something's happened bad but we trust Davey he knows what he's doing he's been doing this a long time and putting these systems in so so if you guys have a water system tell us what you've got and how you like it we'd be anxious to to know how that worked out for you yeah so all right we're gonna sign off thanks for tuning in and we'll look forward to seeing you on the trails did, did anybody, I wonder if anybody noticed how tall I am <laughs>